Well, access to mental health resources can be challenging for the average person. That's why a St. Charles Parish School District is working to make sure its students have the access they need to school-based therapy. As Wendy Miller explains, it's a service they see is needed as students face mounting anxiety. It's just trying to maintain everything all at once and still keep my sanity. For Brianna Anderson and Kylie Posey, like many high school students, the pressure is on. They feel like constantly like a, a shining light is bright in their face and like everyone's watching everything they do. And it can be hard because you're just living your life and you feel pressured all the time. And these days, with social media at the forefront, that pressure is stronger than ever. There's so many pressures. There's peer pressure, people... <laughs> they will lead you in the re the wrong path completely, like vaping, drugs. You see so much going on from people you would never expect it. And it's like everyone, like you can't turn away from it. It's a problem. It's why district leaders introduced no-cost behavioral health support services, a program designed to offer in-school therapy through Access Health Louisiana. Carrie Nesbitt is one of the mental health counselors. It's a non-judgmental place to share and express their feelings in a safe way. The district hired nine mental mental health professionals after noticing several students dealing with trauma. Students, especially seniors in this district, have not had a normal high school life. They've dealt with COVID, they've dealt with Hurricane Ida, and they also have the looming cloud of teen violence hanging over their heads. Death and teens have been like going, like rising so much. I'm trying not to cry, I'm sorry. No, I understand. It's been like rising so much and like, when you're emotional, I feel like you run to certain things and like not everybody has that safe thing to run to. So being able to like go to a counselor and talk to her about those emotions, it really helps a lot. When that happens, what is it that is, what are your friends saying to you? Well, as far as friends, I feel like the very first thing that you hear is like, we're here for you. Yeah. And that's the best thing. Like. The counselors, like, they'll make an announcement, like, go to your counselor if you need to talk to somebody. And it's just so good to have somewhere to turn to. Nesbitt says she often sees students who feel like they don't have an outlet. One thing that I have a lot of students tell me, even as young as elementary age, that they don't want to burden their parents. You know, they, they say, you know, my pa I see my parents fighting with the insurance company every day for our home repairs. The last thing I want to do is add my problems to their, to their plate. Everyone is different. Even though you might think you know what's going on in their head, you don't. And, you know, you have to have somebody to lean on. And I'm glad that our parents and we always have a counselor at school to turn to. In St. Charles Parish, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness uh, News. Well, recently, students at both schools were given a universal screening, a screener assessment to identify students who may be at risk for poor learning outcomes. Now, the assessment revealed the most common issue students face was test taking and social anxiety.